how to turn any mesh to volume with one move. Let's first have a mesh. A cube or a monkey head can do the trick. I got my model from Mixamo for the animation. And with your mesh ready, go to the Add menu from up top. Then inside the volume, select an empty. It's called empty in the Add menu, but volume in the layers. Weird, right? Anyway, once you have the empty volume or the volume empty, go to the modifiers to add a mesh to volume modifier. Now here, we have a small issue. See, in Blender 3 versions, you have two options that seems to be missing from the newer ones, and you can see here with Blender 4, we don't have the fill volume nor the exterior width, and I will show you what they do. But first, let us start from the top. Once you add the mesh to volume, you need to select the mesh object, and you can here assign a cube or the monkey head, or in my case, this model, and you see now, we have it done. Once you get the same result, you can hide the model so we can fix the volume. Next in the mesh to volume settings, you have the density, similar to the density in the volume node, so you probably get the point. You increase this number and the density will go up. The fill volume option is related to the bottom exterior and interior width values. If you turn it off, you can control the volume edge around the object. And at the bottom of the settings, you have the resolution, with both voxel amount and size type opposite of each other. So with the amount, you go up for more resolution on the volume, but with the size, you go down similar to render settings. I will recommend keeping the amount between 100 and 200, because it can make it heavy in the viewport for low-end machines. With this, we can also add materials. So just hit the New button and in the Volume section, adjust the color or any parameter as you want. So to see this, let's add three lights and switch to EV Render View. In the Render settings, you can turn everything on. And the important thing here is the volumetrics. Here we can adjust the resolution more, all at it cost, for sure. The tile size is by default on 8. And you go down for more resolution, but keep it on 8 or 16 for a smoother viewporting. One thing we need back is the original shape. And we get that by lowering down the exterior width value to zero or something around that. You can also add a volume displace modifier under the mesh to volume. With it, we can make a new texture, switch its type to any of the available ones. The cloud type works fine in most cases, and I usually go with the original Perlin as a noise basis, and the size value can be important to fill the shape back, but you can leave it on default and control the displacement strength. A value of 0 0.05 can do the trick for us. And that's it. Like and share if you care, and see you in another video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.